A new study shows reducing the spread of COVID in schools could be as simple as opening a window. The Fox Medical Team's Dina Senefani joining us live with more on this. And first of all, good to see you, Dina. How are you? Hi, good to see you. I'm good. My uh, youngest went off to high school today, Aww. first day of junior year, and then the other two are in college. Oh my so, gosh. Um, we're getting there. Oh, I mean, and you know, and for us, it feels so strange to hear you say first day of school because we've been in school for a month already. I know. In, in <laughs> Michigan, um, it's always been you wait till after Labor Day. Now, some schools are changing that because it's it's like, it's come on, go to school already. It's, the summer's too long. But it's, Labor Day is a big tourism holiday uh, right. here. So it's traditionally been the start of school the day after. Uh, let's talk about school and what's going on. This is an interesting study that now uh, it's a small study at this point, but it's a study of dorm rooms where they looked at how just opening a window can maybe reduce the risk of virus. And Amy, we've heard about ventilation being really a key factor, a very simple way to maybe uh, get rid of this virus in the air, you know, get it out, uh, keep it from lingering too long. Uh, so researchers found opening the window could reduce the amount of coronavirus in a room in half. They were looking specifically at dorm rooms, by the way. It was an observational study of infected college students in isolation. They were in a dorm at the University of Oregon. So they were studied, and this was in early 2021. Uh, they found that viral loads were twice as high in rooms that had windows closed more than half the time. So the study is posted online. It has not been peer reviewed or published in a scientific journal at this point, but we know, and even when you look at previous studies, we know that ventilation is a good thing. So I know sometimes it's too hot to open a window. You're trying to keep the air right. conditioning in, right? So that's when you start talking about fans and just the movement of air. And sometimes even just a ceiling fan at home uh, can contribute to helping to move the air, keep things circulating, and keep that virus from having a chance to spread too much or linger too long. What if you can't ventilate a room? And you bring up a good point because in Florida, right, it's so hot outside. Oftentimes people yeah. don't open windows. And even if you do, there's really not a lot of air circulation. We've just got that thick, humid air around here, not a lot of breeze. So what else are your alternatives? Well, I was looking to see what the research says about just using simple fans. And there is some theory uh, that if you just plug in, you know, if you just have a, an inexpensive fan in a room to keep uh, airflow going, that that can also contribute to good ventilation. So even though you're not bringing in the outdoor air, they're also, we're also starting to see uh, on the market more and more ventilation systems where you plug in and move the air. The important thing is that we don't want to be duped into buying expensive things for our home that aren't necessarily doing much to protect us from virus. They're just moving air. So they need to, it, there needs to be more research done on exactly what it takes, but we do know this, bottom line, air movement is a good thing, no yeah. matter how you can come across it. Yeah, absolutely, and especially for kids going back to school, dorm rooms, those types of areas, you would think yeah. gosh, that would be super important. All right, fascinating stuff. Dina, always good to see you. I hope the kiddos have a great yeah, school year. Congrats Thank to you. Thank you. Take care. Thanks. All right.